the latest issue of Death Ray magazine has a very long piece on Torchwood, and, discussing the wedding episode, ATD says it's a humorous episode, and that the Mingmangs won't like it, because the Mingmangs don't like humor. Presumably he means the, oh, uh, more devoted fans. Anyone out there, Mingmang or otherwise, find that a bit disingenuous or even downright rude, to me, the term Mingmang sounds unhealthy, like he's implying stupidity, fair enough, his prerogative, by using a term very closely associated with Down syndrome. It was referencing an old Victoria Wood episode, not an insult to those with Down syndrome. Can I just point out that, long before Victoria Wood, and long before Stephen Moffat may or may not have coined the term Mingmangs in relation to Doctor Who fandom, or certain parts of it, anyway, it was a regularly used phrase around the playgrounds of my childhood to describe people with Down syndrome. And yes, Mingmangs, not just Mangs. Later, but still no later than 1982, because that's when I went up to secondary school, it became a general derogatory term for anyone with a learning and slash or physical disability. I've heard it three times recently. First, went out with a bunch of fellow social co-workers, and discussing the reactions other people, generally long-time friends, have to what we do for a living. One of the frequently spoken phrases mentioned was are you still working with the Mingmongs, accompanied by hilarious Joe ID can hand and face movements. Secondly, it was shouted at one of my service users. A young man with Asperger's syndrome seconds, before he was physically assaulted in front of me by some scumbag, while walking to the gym. And thirdly, by RTD in that interview. For using that phrase, when it comes down to it, whether RTD meant it as an insult against Downs, or an insult against fans, he still meant it as an insult. And that's just plain wrong. Correct if I'm wrong here, but didn't RTD used to be a quotes, Mingmong too? Still is. And that more than entitles him to mock fandom, and deservedly so, because one of our collective traits as fans is a deep and precious self-righteousness which needs to be deflated for our own good. As does RTD ego judging by some of his interviews of recent years. I'd say he's earned every bit of his ego. And we, as a rule, haven't. Speak for yourself John. I'm quite happy with the ego I've developed due to the success I've had in my chosen career of social care work. Thank you very much. Or, does only being a successful TV person count these days? What about those of us who don't give a monkeys about writers and TV people? Do you have an ego, because you're recognized as one of the top people in the country in your field, both by industry experts and the response of the general public? If not, then you don't have as much reason to think you know what you're talking about as Russell does. Actually earning an ego? That's a very dodgy and bizarre concept, John. He's earned the right to be arrogant? That's the same argument my father uses every time I criticize Alan Sugar or Gordon Ramsay for being monumentally rude ass heads. An opinion that I'm not alone in having, and one which they actively promote. But then, my father, God bless him, is from a generation who'd off their caps at their betters, and I was never a part of that. Russell's earned the right to dismiss the people who keep carping about him. That's not arrogance, that's reality, because the reality is that despite their carping he's succeeded overwhelmingly in pretty much every possible direction. Arrogance would be, if his opinion of himself outstripped his accomplishments. But his accomplishments have outstripped the wildest imaginings of anyone involved with Doctor Who. And before you go down the next obvious road, that does not mean that everything Russell Davies does is flawless and above criticism. What it should be above, though, is blanket condemnation, contemptuous snark, and righteous rage, of the sort fandom so regularly dishes out. Instead, what we've got in fandom is people furiously, impotently shaking their fists at people far higher than them in the pecking order, to no avail whatsoever, thus making their place even more obvious. Whether RTD meant it as an insult against Downs, or an insult against fans, he still meant it as an insult. And that's just plain wrong. Especially as the fans he's using it against are in all likelihood on the autism scale. To refer to those fans who are probably Asperger's in such a way is simply wrong. Just because they are Doctor Who fans, it doesn't take away their basic right not to be insulted like that, and they may belong to this community, but they are not property or material, to be used as someone sees fit. If the condemnations of his comment were on the scale of well it's a bit tacky, saying something which could possibly be taken the wrong way, and look offensive about people with Down syndrome, I might even agree with it. But they're going way beyond that. Could possibly be taken the wrong way. What other way can you take an insult using that phrase, and not just Downs, remember anyone with any kind of disability? As a Victoria Wood flavored derisive in-joke run amok. 
as has been explained. Listen, you quite obviously don't get it. It's probably a cultural thing, so I'll let you off. But I'm taking several quotes, Ming Mangs, to the gym later today, and I guarantee that somewhere on that journey, someone will insult them. Knowing the limits of people's vocabulary, I'd say there's a 1 in 5 chance that phrase will be used. I think I can speak for us in general, none of us here has achieved the success in even our own chosen fields, let alone in Russell's field, which Russell has. This isn't a slight on your work or mine, from what I've seen, you do great stuff. But unless you've done your industry's equivalent of having, over just the past few months, the highest rated drama on BBC One, the highest rated drama on BBC Two, the highest rated drama on BBC Three, just with repeats of the first two shows, and the highest rated drama on CBBC, you just don't have anywhere near as much proven. Reason to think you generally know what you're doing as Russell does. His success and acclaim is just that much beyond anything we've got. And for him to say his persistent critics have got it wrong, in the wake of all that, is hardly a sign of an inflated ego, it's just bloody common sense, you want to defend the principle of not being mean to the handicapped? I agree entirely with that, I think that's an admirable thing for you to say. But I don't think Russell meant it that way, and I think the people he did mean to direct the comment had have earned his derision. I'm going to reply to this bit in this bit only, and then I'm going to go away, because it is clear to me that you, either deliberately or not, are refusing to understand the point of this argument. You seem to be deliberately bringing in irrelevant arguments about Russell T. Davis' arrogance and ego, and how fandom views him simply, to distract from the point. He used an incredibly offensive term, to refer to a certain section of his audience, knowing full well, that it would demean them. The term Mingman being a Victoria Wood reference holds no more water than, if I were to go out in the street right now, point at a black man and shout oh I, nog nog, then claim it was alright, officer, because I was merely referencing hilarious 70s sitcom Love Thy Neighbor. It's horrible Daleks to imply otherwise. I reckon he just didn't think. And I'd love to see him apologize in the pages of Death Ray, to lay the matter to rest. You're following arguments that somehow he is better than anyone else who ever lived, because he made a kids TV show comeback, and stopped people boohooing into their mum's bosom, or whatever it was, I lost along the way, because I got distracted by something shiny. And as I hope those posts have also made clear, I agreed with your underlying point about not being mean to the mentally handicapped, and could sympathize with your point in this case, if the rhetoric were ratcheted down. Instead, you seem to be turning it up. If this is how you respond to someone who kind of agrees with you, I shudder to think how you'd respond, if I actually disagreed.